we are at, according to this, my GPS, 15,365. 15,365 feet, more or less. So, I'm starting to feel the altitude a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it hasn't been technical at all up uh, is to Siwatl so far. Um, the only thing I'm feeling at this point is just, you know, the uh, lack of oxygen, basically. And um, we're starting to hit some snow. It's getting muddy, or it did get muddy, and now we're getting like isolated patches of snow. Behind me is what's left of the Ayaloco Glacier. And the Ayaloco Glacier is interesting because like many other glaciers on high mountains near the equator, these glaciers are not only receding at an incredible rate, by some accounts this glacier is receding at 10 meters a year or 30 feet, which is incredibly quick. At that rate, this glacier may disappear in as little as five to 10 years. These glaciers can give us key information, not only about current global climate change or global warming as it's often known, but about the history of global temperatures and climate. And this has helped scientists tease out the difference between what man is actually contributing and what is the result of natural processes. This has been an incredibly politically loaded argument, uh, topic, for a number of years. And there have been a number of interested parties, in particular the gas and oil industries, that have basically funded disinformation campaigns in order to protect their industry and their profits, which is just unconscionable when you think about the overall welfare, not only of these companies, but a greater welfare, that of, of nations and peoples and civilizations. 